To another episode of the Shanice Says Podcast. Um, today we're having a little solo episode, just me. So if you wanted to guess, I'm sorry, it's just me. And it's all about envy. All right. So if you think that you're not envious and it doesn't affect you, you might be triggered with it. <laughs> In terms of like if someone's been envious towards you or you've been envious towards them and then you noticed. So I actually did a few polls on my Instagram to see, you know, if people knew about um, envy and I just wanted to see how many people you know felt like envy was a part of their lives do you feel envious of anyone 63 percent so far I've only put it up today says yes so um I also asked has anyone did something to you was due to their envy and have you ever done something you think was because you were jealous and how did you spot this and grow wow the responses already of the amount of people that have had an envious attack. So like an, it's called like an envy attack. First of all, envy is a tricky one because it's very hard to admit to it because it means that we feel inferior. But once you become really aware, like when I started to learn about envy, you really do see the dark side of yourself, you know, the things that you did or the things that happen to you and you realize that it's because of envy and it's hard to admit that even for me to say that be like oh someone did that because envious of me like you don't want to sound like you're being big-headed but when you look at the human behavior of why people do certain things it usually comes down down to this um and even with myself sometimes when I judge someone um I try to notice it straight away and be like okay what am I envious of and you've heard me talk about this time and time again on, on podcasts. So we're just looking deeper into it, um, into envy, I suppose. So, yeah, so envy entails the admission to ourselves that we are inferior to another person and something we value. Not only is it painful to admit this inferiority, but it is even worse for others to see that we are feeling this. So, because like, I know a lot of people says no, they don't feel envious when I put up my polls and stuff. But I know for a fact, like they, if they might listen to this, they might be like, oh, maybe I did do that because I was feeling a little envious. Um, or that did happen from that person because they were a little envious. And you start to, like, it's about being really aware. And usually when I'm really aware and I'm feeling like I'm judging someone or I'm annoyed at someone or something's happened, I'm like, oh, I maybe just want something that they have. Which is hard to, it's very, very, it's very hard to admit. But the thing is, right, about the era that we live in compared to, let's just say back in the days, like when there was kings and queens and castles and attacks, right? Let's just say a king is jealous of another king or something. He feels like this person, like Caesar, you know, the, these days, right? They could act in violence. They could go over to that castle and attack them and be like, boom, you did something to just respect me. And I'm going to take you down with violence. I'm going to, like, they literally would kill people, hang people for stuff like this, right? But obviously, like, not noticing that it's, like, um, they feel threatened and they feel envious because this person maybe is smarter than them, maybe did something. You know what I mean? You're getting my draft, right? But this day and age is different because we can't do stuff like that, okay? So instead of violence... Envyers in this day and age would like sabotage our work, ruin a relationship, maybe a reputation, especially reputation. A lot of people want to tear down people's reputations. You know, you'll see it a lot in the influencing world where, you know, people are saying like, why do they do this? And why do they get free stuff? And why do they do that? You know what happened? That girl, um, she got really fucked up one night and she did this, right? Trying to ruin reputation. Like that person's just doing their job, but the person looking at that, say influencer or whatever, or even in your workplace, it's not even about influencing. Let's just say you're doing really well in your work. Um, someone who is envious of you getting that job, first of all, they're never going to admit that they're envious. But what they will do is they'll do it where their social status is still in key. So they, they're not going to go there and start attacking you or start going over there. They're going to like start damaging your reputation be like oh did you see that oh yeah she got her promotion but did you see her at the weekend she was absolutely fucked 
right? So it comes in wee daggers like that. It's that, that that's a little envy attack. And plus, people get fucked up all the time. People get drunk. Things happen in their relationships. Um, you'll notice even little things like this. Like, say someone confides in you. Say you confide in someone, and you're like, "Oh my god, my boyfriend is being a freaking dick," and that person is a wee bit envious of you because you'll notice that people that are envious of you sometimes are prone to be your friend because they want to be closer but they don't realize they're envious so let's just say you have something that they have you have a loving relationship and you're complaining about your boyfriend which by the way is human nature like we all complain about our boyfriends like let's be real it's totally normal for relationships to be on the rocks sometimes and all this happens it's freaking normal but if this person is envious of you what are they gonna do they're gonna go over to your other friend and they're or they or your coworker, and they're gonna say, you know, that they're on the freaking rocks. You know, she actually doesn't want to be with her boyfriend, or on a night out. That so-called friend is has an envy attack, and still, I'm telling you now, unconscious, doesn't even know. She'll say to the boyfriend, you know, that like she was always talking shit about you, blah 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 blah. Maybe she doesn't want your boyfriend, but like she's envious of your life, and she is causing an envy attack. And the reason why we're bringing up envy and talking about it here is because you want to be able to recognize this because let's just say you're at work and you're like, oh my God, everyone hates me. Oh, like his family, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like you feel really hurt when, you know, people gang up on you and you just feel like really alone. But if you have the tools and the understanding of humans of why this happened, then you're better armed with you can be able to deal with it better because if someone's coming at you and attacking you and you feel you feel alone and you want to defend yourself you can make sure that you've got all the tools and you know why this person is doing it and feel a bit more compassion and it's just easier but first of all let's talk about the two different types of envy envy attacks right so we have passive and active and you know through the course of the day you're gonna like you're gonna feel envy I feel envy it depends what we do with it, okay? And I'll talk about at the end of the podcast how I deal with envy and how I turn it into a positive emotion. But right now, um, let's just talk about passive and active. And and like through the course of the day, we, you know, we unconsciously monitor people all the time and we just might have bites of, of envy. So passive envy is, you know, it's just in passing. You say, you say stuff in passing or somebody says something in passing. Like, you know what just came in there? I'm so glad I put up this question box actually because a lot of people says, people saying stuff about me being skinny or my weight you know passive comments about oh you uh are you not gonna eat that or oh my god you need to eat or something like that right and it's a passive it's a passive comment right which is pretty shitty it is annoying but at least you're armed with it being like you know what that's a passive envy attack and that is something sometimes human nature it just comes as being a social animal that people are jealous but these things are are passive okay now passive envy can now turn to active active envy is like what I was talking about before so like literally going out to maybe ruin your relationship ruin your career actually just going forward whilst you know passive envy can sometimes sometimes we just have to deal with that and we just have to realize sometimes that's fucking life and then you can realize that that's a passive envy convent rather than someone just actually for example the girl saying like well you need to eat or getting these comments about being skinny um instead of thinking oh my god it's like maybe i'm too skinny maybe i should eat you can be like no it's a passive envious comment and having these tools will help you deal with that better and help you deal with these people so let's arm ourselves with signs of envy because once you start noticing them at the start you if you notice them at the start then you can um de- decode it and you can make sure you don't react on it because I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't really react in certain ways because oh, we will get to that but anyway first the first one is poisonous praise okay and some of these I've definitely definitely experienced it okay so enviers will make a comment praising let's just say you make a lot of money or you make more money and they it, like it's an amazing feeling to make more money but like an envier who's deep down like annoyed about it will make a passing comment or a comment that you know the main reason you did it is for the money and you want praise for the work itself don't you and the effort that went into it but they imply that you've done for the money and that you've like sold out and like they're praising you but also you're very confused about 
you know the the pass and comment um this and like I definitely experienced this myself as well like people are like you know you do this for the money and I'm like look if I did this for the money I'd be taking the brand deals I'd be taking like all the beauty stuff and I'd be you know get my ass out you know what I mean and I'm just like people are like oh yeah you do that for the money and it's so annoying because I've turned out so much money but nobody ever sees it um but then if you're armed with the fact that like you know it is pretty shit for people to watch other people make money because they're not comfortable with it and they want the money or like it would be nice as well but like it's so un- it is really frustrating when you do not do things for money and somebody says that you do like it's so so annoying and um th- that's that's the kind of thing you need to look out for and you can't really retaliate you just have to like sit there with it which is kind of annoying too Okay, another sign. I'm not going to get too much into it because I literally have so much to cover. But um, there's backbiting, which is if people like to gossip a lot, particularly about like people, around, like just people that you know and stuff, you can be sure that they're going to gossip about, about you. And gossip is a cover for envy, a convenient way to vent it by sharing malicious rumors and stories. Like it's, um, and then when they talk behind other people's backs, you will literally see their eyes light up. Like they get so excited, and it just gives them joy. So this negativity coming from them brings them bring, that bringing them joy. Watch out for that um, in human behavior, because they they will like draw, gossip about you, and it's also active. Like gossiping about someone else and trying to like ruin their reputation is active envy. So just watch out for that, and um, and watch it out for your for yourself, because people <laughs> there's a difference, right? And like look so and so is pregnant you know, like, that's actually like stating facts you know having like a gossip but then there's like a difference between like envious attacks and active you know trying to ruin someone's reputation and trying to make up make up and trying to start rumors and pass them on and talk about someone's life like judging them on you know let's just say her and her boyfriend had a fight outside the chippy and they're like uh that's awful blah 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 and they're like you know, and I'm just like, people always fight outside the chippy. Like, it's like a normal thing, that night out. I don't know. You know, you fight with your boyfriend. Maybe this person just fought with them in public when they were drunk. And that's like a mistake. It's not really for anywhere for you to judge. And this person has took it as like ammunition to be like, hold on a minute. Do you see them outside there? So that's a little bit of active envy. So like, just watch out for stuff like that. Um. Okay, so we can go into like envy types or like why people are envious. So if you look at like, you know, there's all these studies in like, psychoanalysis papers on like why people like have like more envious traits and like it's totally normal to be envious like um it can't like sometimes it comes down to childhood when you know you're the first, like say you're first born and then other people come or, like when you're younger and your siblings come along and they get more attention um there's a lot of research on the fact that when a child spends a lot of time with a child and then like as they grow a bit older then there's a lot of time apart you know a lot of jealousy even jealousy over like the dad and stuff like that like there's a lot of that but like it just it, like there, there is a lot on it but like that's not what we're going to touch on today we're just because like you can get rid of envy you know what I mean you can when you meditate and breathe and think of compassion for other people like you can get rid of it you can get rid of it you know what I mean and you can pass it on by rather than deal with it but we will talk about that at the, at the end because I love talking about stuff like that as well so um types of envyers I love shit like this like I literally love talking about human behavior and like and then like when you recognize other people or even yourself you're like oh my god I need to stop doing that um you literally like get I don't know get really excited about it um so the leveler the leveler okay so levelers can seem rather entertaining and interesting they tend to have like really witty sense of humor um and they also seem to have like a keen nose for you know unfairness in the world so (laughs) the they have a fragile ego um, and when they see people that are you know achieving things in life they make them feel like really insecure like that makes them feel insecure not the other person but like it makes them feel really insecure and the thing is right they have come to associate excellence with unfairness and this soothes their insecurity so you'll see someone and and like I, there is there is a a bit to play with this as well but let's do, actually somebody sent me a thing and said that they were really jealous of their workmate and they started saying oh they had an unfair advantage because of like where they lived or you know where they are what they had basically 
and this person was like I grieve from that and realized like I was in victim mentality um so yeah that's a level they will like pit someone to their level but like well they got that because you know like they get that because she's good looking they get that because like things like that like they want to pit them down a level because they don't really see how this person got success and it makes them feel insecure that this person's got success so they they want to level them out so that's like what what levelers are um and in the book laws of human nature like this is like where most of this stuff came from like it's so interesting if you want to read it um they talk about levelers and they like really can't deal with people who are having to or who are enjoying themselves too much or who have like too great a sense of purpose and they say that levelers can usually lack sense of purpose so they usually make you feel guilty for your own like a success if you know what I mean um they're like well no because you shouldn't be that successful because you got successful because of this but if you see this like especially like if you're coming up to a career and you're feeling this you're feeling like someone is doing this to you like at least you can be like okay this person is maybe lacking something um and you know what this is what I'm going to put it down to and even if it's not you can just put it down to it makes you feel better (laughs) and the, the next one is like the attacher like people who attach and this is what I got in my question box people talking about their friends doing envy attacks like sabotaging their relationship sabotaging their fa- like you know going to the other f- friends and telling them stuff about this person um so this is like an attacher um their form of attack is to gather information on you that they can leak out or spread as gossip harming your friend. and like I know this all sounds really dark like it really does because I'm the kind of person that sees the good in everybody and I'm all about that vibe but um when I started learning about this I was like oh this is a bit mental like it's not um <laughs> but I I don't believe like everyone has this envy this envious trait behind them like I even when I was like learning about it last I was like no 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 like I still believe in the good in everyone and like everyone does come from good and then sometimes I just feel like it's these little small things that will like help you like say for example you did fall out with your friends you can better understand the person that did this rather than thinking like you're a shitty person you could be like oh that person did that because she was threatened or it's not a hard thing to admit and I'm sorry if I'm triggering you I triggered myself learning about this I was like oh do I go on like that but yeah and like sometimes envy is just triggered randomly by random events so like the most common trigger for someone to start because say you're just having a normal relationship with someone and then all of a sudden you're noticing this change in them and these like passive comments and stuff like that um like the most common trigger is just like a sudden change in your status and you know it will alter your relationship with friends and peers so if you know anyone that maybe got a promotion or you got a promotion and you notice that people being different um yeah that's usually what happens like it's it's not even to do with like maybe they want your job but like you know if you get a higher status and somewhat in society you look superior like it can it can trigger insecurities in a person and that's all that's that's all it really is I think it's Inse- insecurities really and in, in everything see this notion right of superior and inferior I think it's mad to think that I know it sometimes looks like oh this person's got this and this like they're better in status in society but like nobody is better than anyone else yes somebody might have a bit more information than you and they might have more skills but like we are literally on the same level we are not superior and inferior and please remember that and that's one thing that will help you with this as well if you if you do get like we would jealous of people or whatever just be like we are literally the same person that person may have more skill or they may have more something but um we're all made up of the same atoms guys and we're all on the same level and that I, that's what I was somebody was gonna get that tattooed and I was like no yeah, I want that tattooed like the same atoms and like oxygen hydrogen um because that keeps you humble being like we're all made up of the same stuff like do not ever get ahead of yourself or, or below yourself like we're all in the same vibes and it's you who reacts to everything um and it's you who makes it in your own head that if someone's inferior or superior to you so just remember we're all on the same fucking level we're all made from the same stuff um and I just I just love that like humbleness of like bringing you back down to life because sometimes you can get a big job and think like oh um and that that is something as well actually in the laws of human nature because it almost tells you like how to deal with stuff like this so say like you are very fucking good at something 
which is fair enough people are so good at something people can't deal with that people sometimes can't even deal with like somebody being so good at something so like you don't even say you're being really good at something because you're scared of like how they're gonna react to you do you know what I mean and like in that book they tell you to like if you're really good at something like maybe just show them your flaws and you know to keep them from being like that but I don't know I don't know if I believe that or not like it's just like something you know what I mean if you're good at something like why why not excel and show people but you know I'm leaving that open to um, your opinions and we are interrupting this podcast with our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online counseling platform. And if you're listening to this and you're really enjoying this, or you're maybe, you're getting, maybe you're getting aha moments of awareness, that is something that therapy has done for me. And with that awareness comes the understanding of humans. And when you understand humans and their behavior, you just get out of your head a little bit. And that is something I learned in therapy as well. So if you're interested in therapy and want to learn more about yourself and your behaviors, then you can get 10% off your first month with betterhelp.com slash Sinead. That is betterhelp.com slash Sinead. So I actually just want to quickly talk about some of the responses as well that I got. Um, and I was like, do you feel envious of anyone and people? Like a lot of people says like the fitness journeys of people being like, oh, I get so jealous. And guys, I really... Um, this person too like I would unfollow people who sometimes are on a fitness journey and who are looking really bad like who go to the gym for like three weeks and like look unreal and I'm like I've literally been going to the gym I've been going to the gym for a very long time and I literally look the exact same um I, I I do get envious of that so sometimes especially if someone is smaller than me like say if someone's like really small and they're like oh my god I put on weight triggered I get so triggered by that I am like no that makes me feel like I am not like do you know what I mean and then I just like I rather unfollow I don't really unfollow anyone but I maybe might meet them I'll be like oh I can't deal with that because it's actually triggered me into thinking something else so anyway but if you look at that I'm like I'm envious well I'm not well I am I'm fucking envious so a lot of people said this about the people's fitness journey but somebody said this to me I think it was Lucy after my roommate says to me say someone's body right and you're jealous of someone's body you can't say you want say if I says you would you swap that but you have to swap every single thing you have to swap your partner, you have to swap your lifestyle, you have to swap, you have to swap all your habits, your friends, um, your personality and, and your face, everything with this person that you're jealous of, like everything in their life, like their job, everything. Um, like, would you then want to still swap? I don't know. So that was just a nice little one to put out there. Now, this is something that came up a lot in this book. I am jealous of people who truly love themselves and are confident. And I just want to say to this person who wrote in this thing, there, there's a few of these people that are truly confident. That awareness that you know that is the freaking key to dealing with it. Because you would be doing passive and active envy uh, attacks if you didn't know this. Knowing that you're jealous of a confident person knows that, first of all, looking at someone who is confident and who truly loves themselves is proof that it can be done. It is literally proof that it can be done. And that is something you need to aspire and look to. And noticing that that is the reason, not because you're not turning around and doing like nasty comments. You're literally like, I am actually envious of that person because they are confident. And you know what? When you're envious and you're jealous of someone, it knows that it's, it's something that you like want and desire as well. So you can be like I can have that and now I know I can desire it how do I put steps in place to become this confident and secure person and then you can just go looking for it because without the awareness you're just being bitchy and you're just gossiping and you're doing passive envy towards that person you being aware of being envious of someone who is truly confident you now know that maybe that is something that you desire so now you can get in your journal and you can begin your journey to self-confidence so yeah and it comes out and I, like I say this all the time by judgment and envy and all this stuff that let's just say someone is I always say this so if you've ever been listening to this sorry um say someone's just like walking down the street chatting on their story or maybe they're chatting on their story in the gym that's something I could never do right chatting on their story in the gym and you go oh jeez look at that like look at that fucking loves himself chatting away in their story there blah 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 I could look at myself and I could turn around to my friend and go, look at that girl or boy chatting away in their story, right? I recognize that I'm fucking jealous. But am I, 
thing is, what am I jealous of? I'm jealous that they don't give a fuck what anyone or else around them thinks. They can go on and do exactly what they want because they truly don't care what anyone else around them thinks. They're confident in what they're doing and they're speaking and they're doing whatever. And I recognize that. I recognize that I wish I was that confident. Maybe I should aspire to be that confident. No, I haven't done it yet. I do speak on my stories in public, but not really. <laughs> if nobody's watching. <laughs> but anyway, so you know what I mean? Like I'm using that to my advantage. I'm understanding, I'm aware. And a lot of people said this as well um, in the question box. Now, this is one that could be probably potentially sensitive, right? People posting their pregnancy when trying to conceive. And I can understand that must feel really difficult. And especially as when I got diagnosed with Dean says all I did was look up like how fertile how, am I infertile blah 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 and I went down this whole rabbit hole um and then people were like oh no but Geneva, you, you can still do like IVF and blah 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 and I remember being like in my heart it was like oof like it was it was painful but then I realized that like looking at people especially people in my position who have adenomyosis or endometriosis conceiving I'm like wow it's possible do you know what I mean? Um, and I turned it, I turned it around and was like, it's possible. And I also um would slip in to be in them. Imagine being able to get that news. And then I lit my body fills with joy. Um, so that's just like a little. T- I'll actually just tell you this technique anyway. So, um, where did I find this technique? I can't remember. But anyway, so it's 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 a med- it's love and compassion meditation. It's called meta meditation as well. You probably know it from the Brave Way meditation course if you've done it and it's all about having compassion for other people and like really slipping in but here's a good exercise right so let's just say someone from down there like a lot of people say like I'm really jealous people like going been able to go on holidays and like with their family or whatever in a nice car and like you sometimes people think like oh look at her going on a nice holiday and um like with her nice car or whatever right but I would be like close my eyes and imagine that you're them okay you gave your family, your daughter, your son a holiday. Like you were able to do that. And you really feel that person's like love and joy. Then you think like, how good is it to have that feeling? And then you start to feel it. Then your vibration lifts up. I do this all the time. And um, if I ever feel like that, like, you know, like say if someone in my line of work or like let's just say someone in my line of work does really well. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm just as good. Like, why am I not getting that well? I can sit back and go, how amazing would it be to get that deal? That would be cool. And you drop right into their shoes and you get this like almost overwhelming feeling of joy because you're like, wow, that's what it would feel like. And then you're almost manifesting it. You know what I mean? Like you're feeling it. You're understanding it. You're feeling all the senses. Like you literally feel the senses. It's like a meditation to drop into that feeling. And it melts the envy, melts it away. Be like, how amazing is that? That girl did that. And you can also think like, if someone in your line of work is like doing really well, you can be like, doing my line of work can get me to that place one day. And it's possible because that person got got there. Sitting in the poison of envy is not going to do you good. Sit now and think of someone you're jealous of and like feel the envy in the judgment, take a breath, think about it. It's, it's not a nice feeling. Makes you feel a wee bit, makes you feel a wee bit panicky. Gives you a bit of heart palpitations, you know. But then, if you just switch it and be like, be in them, be like, how amazing. Like, that person did that and it's possible. It's class. So, let me know if you've, if you've tried it. Like, I do it in my journal a lot. Or say like I make up, say um, I see myself judging someone. Like, okay, what am I jealous of? I'll literally look in my um journal and I'll I'll really go into it. Okay, this is an important one, and it's a hard lesson to learn. <laughs> but say you're under an envy attack, or someone is you know trying to damage your reputation. Your best strategy is to control your emotions. And this is much easier when you know all this stuff because you can be like, okay, that is an envy attack Um, because the person that is doing this to you will feed on this narrative because they want you to look bad. So let's say you go, excuse me, what the 
blah, blah, blah. And you're going mental at this person. They're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like, can't wait to tell people this. They're gonna, f- It's going to feed the narrative they have of you because they have this narrative. They are so unconscious and so unaware of what feelings is going on that they're like, look, mm-hmm, I told you she got her position because she was a dick or because she was too strong and that this is the way she goes on. They will use that as ammunition. So this is where you have in this tool right now of knowing that that's just an envy attack and for you to like sit on your emotions and be like if I retaliate this and get defensive and go in and try to defend myself here in it like you know because you, you want to defend yourself you want to be like fuck you like how dare you say that about me blah 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 because that's not true because what they're saying usually isn't true or it's not something that they should be even talking about do you know what I mean they're just using it because and you just don't want to get entangled in any more drama like it's just going to cause more drama if you keep retaliating retaliating and I know that's hard it's very hard when someone is all day saying things that aren't true like honestly the things that I hear about me that aren't true and I want to just literally come on my story and be like guys come on now but then I'm like I'm not even going to bother because why do I want to entangle more drama whenever they're going to make us something else up next week you know what I mean? They're going to make some random shit up or they're going to have some narrative. So you just have to keep a level head and realize that you're human as well. Like a lot of people will, especially if they're envious, will take your m- mistakes as a human being and use them to just have, and I'm like, sit back and realize that we're all humans. We all make mistakes. We all give in to impulses. We all, you know, do this from time to time. So like have compassion for other people as well so I'm just asking you to like maintain the composure and the best strategy is to just let them stew in their own poison and yeah just let them do it and hopefully like because their purpose sometimes can be to annoy you if you're not fulfilling their purpose sometimes they can just let you go let you go and like their chronic you know poisonous ways and envious ways and their unhappiness is fucking punishment enough if you want to live there as you did before when I told you I told when I sat there and told you to sit and think about judging another person and being envious of another person how does that feel in your body well that's what they feel all the time so being armed with this information and being like you know what when someone does that to me um then I can be like just that's they've got their own like there's no point going back and retaliating and because they're sitting on it they're sitting in their own shite really so yeah and the best thing as well is just like really monitoring yourself now introspective right if you're we're in episode 47 here so you're probably already knee deep in freaking introspecting your own thoughts and things that come up so now this is like your chance to like dive in and be like okay where does this come up for me and say you read someone's success or someone's done something like like watch it because you could almost miss it and then be like if someone's doing really well and you're about to like feel something different watch it and be like you know what fucking fair play because that's the best medicine for it you know what I mean like what's the point sitting in this poison of like envy whenever you can be like fair play so like sit back watch it monitor yourself from now on like another like thing you'll notice as well is if you move closer to the thing that you're envious of all right you may notice cracks and a good example of this, the Kardashians. They're dying to go to a grocery shop. And we go to that grocery shop every fucking day. So, like, we look at people like that and be like, they have everything. They have the looks. They have all this jazz, right? And if you look closer, they can't go to a supermarket. They can't go out in the streets, like, without getting photographed. They can't do anything without getting shit. And their whole relationships, everything is, like, on this like literal everyone's just looking at them and if we look closely we can see that everything has its ups and downs so it's a good it's a good thing to actually look into it if you're envious just be like okay would I really want that so look closer simple one like you could envy my job but I've been sitting in this apartment all day by myself you know I don't get to interact with anyone like unless I like purposely go outside and like 
I actually have a lot of work to do this minute, so I'm really stuck indoors at the minute. And I'm like, oh, I wish I just like I used to, like you know like in the office or behind the bar, you're bouncing off people all day. You're you're getting these like vibey bits of dopamine all day, and like I do feel really lonely sometimes because I am working by myself, and that's why I'm. But like also I because I'm envious of this, right? And I know it. I want to aspire to it. So when I go to Australia, like I want to set up an office and have like all all the guys in the office and we could just like bounce off each other do you know what I mean I'm not using it like fuck them they have an office and they get to have fun <laughs> do you know what I mean I'm just like using it so you know just look closely at other people's things that you am um, because sometimes it's not all what it's cut out to be all right and then the another good thing for when we feel envy is gratitude sometimes we're so busy looking at other people's stuff we just forget how much we actually have and like we forget how much blessings that we truly have like if you spend your day you know your morning of thinking of gratitude and raising your vibration but this is what we do in the brave way meditation course just like plug my own meditation course there but if you spend the day in gratitude it just almost removes all envy because you're so so focused on your life like the other day I had like me and Jack just like had like a normal day we went to the cinema and we came back and we watched a movie and then the next day I was going down to meet the girls for dinner in my hometown and I was driving down the road it's about an hour and a half to almost like one hour 45 minutes from Belfast to where I, I live and I was just driving down the road and I sang like the songs the whole way down I just had the cutest night like normalest night like no madness just like chilling put my washing on with with Jack and we just watched a movie and cuddled and like kissed and and then I went down the road to have dinner with my friends and I was like just like this is classy you know what I mean I could have looked at someone else's story who was in the Maldives and been like fuck I'd love to be in the Maldives but instead I like I zoned in on what I had you know I was like this is so unreal like I have all my friends we're going for a nice dinner um I just found out my friend was pregnant I was like oh my god this is so lovely um you know and even I was like oh my god my friend like is pregnant I'm so happy for her and I thought about her happiness and then thought about my happiness and was just like overjoyed (laughs) so yeah gratitude is the antidote to envy for for sure and gratitude is just like a muscle that requires exercise as well so you need to be doing it all the time and um, the first thing I always tell people when they're like stuck in ruts I'm like every single day five new things you're grateful for and it has to be new then you're looking for things you're grateful for every single day and trust me it's a vibe so I asked the question on my question box um have you ever done something you think was because you were jealous and how did you spot this and grow and I'm loving the vibes in this box like it is literally just like people with awareness I love that uh somebody said yes disliking dissing another person because they were confident and didn't give a fuck about what other people thought met the girl and we got on like a house on fire and she was lovely I then knew that I disliked and slagged her because I wanted what she had and that was confidence there's one here as well a girl talking to my boyfriend a bit too close and I kind of went like girlfriend I learned to stop uh stop this through breathing and meditation so see when things come like up up for me you know like jealousy in the relationship I'm like, okay, what the fuck do I need to heal here? So I'll be like, okay, is this me? Is it my old trigger from when I got cheated on and I'm just like really panicked? Or is it the way he's making me feel from his actions? And is he not making me feel secure enough? So I'll have that conversation with myself and then I'll communicate it with my partner and say, look, the reason why I did that or the reason why I feel like this right now is because I'm not really getting that much. I don't feel very safe and secure right now. So I maybe you need to reassure me, but maybe a few words or maybe just like a little bit more quality time. You know, sometimes recognizing that the psycho behavior, I hate that word psycho, sorry, abolish the psycho, um, is, you know, is something that you just need to heal within you and you can communicate it and your partner usually understands the jealousy because we all get jealous of you know girls and stuff it depends how we deal with it and it depends you know where it's coming from is it coming from them you know not treating you the right way or is it coming because you haven't told them how you want to be treated sometimes um you need to ask them be like okay I think I need more reassurance because of something happened in the past and that really helps their relationship so someone actually said thinking something negative about someone to negate put down their success and achievement and that's like uh, envy in terms of like a leveler because 
they see like successes as you know it makes them really sensitive and makes them feel really insecure so like a way to help them feel better um is usually to do that but once you see once you're aware and you recognize that it's so much easier to deal with and you are literally the awareness is literally like the cure do you know what i mean the awareness and gratitude for your own life and also um internalizing other people's joy is an all is is the best way to do it oh this one is like in the other box so uh, an envy attack. Uh, we haven't talked about this. When friends get with exes days later. Someone said that days later. Um, friends being... Well, anyway. And obviously I've been a, a victim of that. It's fucking shite. But when you realise it's because of like an insecurity. And like... Because I don't know about you. See when you were younger, right? And there was like... The good... You know, like the real good looking girl. But like you had a boyfriend. You and you were chilling with a boyfriend or whatever. And like you were loving life. But she was fucking bee's knees, right? She used the power. It was very powerful for her to take someone else's boyfriend. You know, when you're younger in school, I'm not talking about now. I mean, this could be possible. Um, it's so powerful because at that moment, that guy is jeopardizing the relationship with their girlfriend to get with this to get with this good looking girl, right? I'm not like this girl, and she did it because she had the power and she felt insecure and she wanted to know she could do it. You know what I mean? And when you recognize it, it's got to do with insecurity. Like, did that person really want to be with that boy? You know, there's plenty of other boys. Like, you can fancy your friend. Like, your friend's boyfriend could be good looking, but, like, there's a line. Like, so when they go for it, wh- what is that about? You know? I don't understand that. I, I know. I mean, it happens. I know it happens. And, like, when you fall in love with someone, that can sometimes be different. And, you know, when you're younger as well, like, these things happen a lot more because, like, they're maybe in the same school and, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. But um, at least you know, like, sometimes it comes down to that. Sometimes it comes down to them maybe actually falling in love. But um, sometimes that person just wants to be really powerful in my in my eyes. <laughs> and we were talking about this before as well. A lot of people are saying about... Uh, this is a new word I haven't know. Sorry, this is in the que- in the the box that you wrote in. Um, food pushers, is that a thing? And now I'm like, that makes sense. Food pusher like is someone that is sounds sounds crazy, but I felt victim to a food pusher as I was skinnier than her. I um yeah, she would guilt trip me into eating it, and we oh my god, yeah, that makes so much sense, and like that is so unconscious do you know what I mean like that that person's probably not even noticing but she's like come on eat but this is why the knowledge of this sort of stuff on human behavior is really good because you can be like okay no I'm not going to be guilt tripped into eating more right now and the really sad thing about all these things is like a lot of friends like it's a, a lot in friends and like to be honest like when you read human behavior like envy is really common among friends um which is shit as well because when it does happen you're really confused but but please don't be confused um because sometimes something happened like somewhere along the line that triggered them into this and i don't know sometimes it can be very very hard because you feel really just hurt i suppose but anyway so let's recap on the three main points or the three things really to help with the envy first of all no retaliation well it's not for yourself but like no like really c- control and master your emotions here guys let's practice mastering your emotions um you know like don't try to because they'll use that narrative against you um it's better for to let them sit their own sit in their own poison which is um sometimes very hard to do but you know there's one um also internalizing other people's joy so if you're envious yourself or you ever feel which is it's totally normal it's a social animal thing to do um really internalize someone else's joy and be like oh my god how amazing it is that it is for them to achieve that use it as inspiration is another one um and then gratitude gratitude um will just fix everything i think it's just the most underrated tool in the fucking book and yeah like i'm a little bit rusty on the emotions because i had to pull out all my old books and notebooks and studying material and I was like okay let's just go for it and just see how we get on but we're here we're finished so if you learned anything please let me know I think there could be another episode on this because there was a lot in the question boxes there I was like whoa let's talk about this more and loads of people were really you know there was a lot of people hurt as well and I think hopefully this will help people understand that like sometimes it's really down to the insecurity of the other person um 
and just you know some things they don't even recognize the unawareness of it all like and you know what you're more aware because you listen to this podcast today so you are aware and hopefully if you find any envy things in yourself that you know how to deal with it um and thank you for listening and let me know in the reviews comments comment on my reels on the podcast or whatever thank you and don't forget to follow us on tiktok she needs this podcast Bye.